Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. In today's video, we are going to be installing the undercarriage protection for the livable space of my tiny house because there's the deck on the front. If you didn't watch previous videos, they're somewhere. You can check them out. So the back 11 feet basically. Now, if you watched when I originally did this, I used pressure treated plywood on the bottom of my house. Eventually, I'm going to take that out and replace it with aluminum. This right here. This is a hundred square feet of aluminum and it cost about $89. Pretty expensive, but it'll do this whole thing. Plus I'll probably end up with like 40 extra square feet. So that's cool. If you watch the first time I did this, it was hard to film because I couldn't really show it. So what I'm thinking of doing, which is going to be a stupid idea is I'm going to go get some logs. I'm going to put some logs on the thing and I'm going to flip it over. And then I'm going to do it and then I'll flip it back over. That way you can see it. And also while I'm doing that, I can put the VIN into it. I can do a bunch of stuff while it's upside down. It might be a bad idea. I'm going to film it and show you. Now I also bought these right here. These are number nine, one inch screws. They got a little rubber garment on it right there. They're pretty, pretty cool stuff. There's 120 in there. I might need another box. 32. No, it should be good. Now this right here costs about like, let's call it 10 bucks. So the price for this video is $100, not even. Now my prices are not including the tools that are gonna be used, but it's a drill. And if you bought a drill on the last project, you have one. So you really just need one drill, not six like I have. I love them though. I, I'm really like, like some people like dirty movies. Some people like going to church. I like tools. That's my, my Zen, my holy like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, this is a whole lot of bad ideas happening. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh man. Okay, what I'm doing right now is just to make it easier to show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna flip the same thing over. I mean, don't do this. There's no reason why I can't, why don't I just, we're gonna try. I like trying new things, so I'm going to try to flip the thing over. First time I did that, it was a failure. This might be a bad idea. I might as well just jack it up, but I can't film it good. So just do it. Just try it. Peanut, watch out. What? You want me to play under the trailer? Okay. Yep. Knew it. Could you have picked a worse fucking time to be a shitty dog? Do you think maybe you could have? Come on, let's go for a ride. Dude, that car is hot. Come on. I might be putting a lot of stress on that axle. Might be a dumb idea. hope my landlord wasn't watching. I mean, I was almost there, but it would have fallen backwards and that's bad. That was dangerous. Dad, I'm getting hot in this car. Let me out. And I'm all cool with this. Dude, I dropped that thing. How'd it look? All right, let's try that. It looks safer. It's a horrible idea. Wow. I, I mean, I've had some ideas in my day, but that one takes the cake. It's the worst fucking idea. What was good about that is I really tested out the strength of the trailer. I wouldn't recommend doing that. If I had a better piece of equipment, a wall forklift, that would have gone much smoother. But that thing is difficult to operate. I think I've said it enough. Just don't do that, okay? Dad, you forgot about me in the car. It's hot as balls out here. Let me out. Come on, stupid. You call him stupid. I was the stupidest thing I ever did to see in my life. What was the point of that, though? Like, 
there's literally no benefit of doing that. And it's, it's just going to confuse people's brains. They're going to be like, why are you eliminating the top of the trailer? Why are your axles going through the middle of your house? It's not going to, it's not going to be helpful. Nice try though, spesh. Like I want to post a picture of this on Instagram, but that'll just, people's brains won't be able to compute. So I'm going to nail this last choice on that I didn't do before because I got stupid. It's been a minute since I've driven a nail, that's for sure. My elbow is going to be hurting for a week now. So my aluminum is going to be running from the back to this joist right here and I'm going to tape that joint, tape all the joints. It'll be spectacular. I already screwed up and opened this box the wrong way. Don't tell my uncle. He'll get mad at me. Now this is definitely going to be like 300 times easier doing it this way, but I would, I would definitely not recommend flipping your trailer over. Not, not the brightest idea I've had. So I'm just going to butt this into my steel, make sure I drop my screw right off the bat. That's important. So I got one screw in there as a pivot point and I made sure I'm tight to the steel beam. So I'm going to come to this end. Pull this tight, and I can tell you that that beam is not running straight because I got a gap right here, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna do my best to pull this tight. Good. So I'm just gonna tape this joint, but I'm gonna come and put one screw here, and I will not put a screw here. When I overlap it, my overlap piece will get a screw in it, which will connect into this one as well. And it looks like I'm just gonna need three pieces. So I'm gonna do that side and then do the middle. And it's good, copacetic. So how do you cut this stuff? It's with a utility knife and a framing square. I don't have one on me. So I'm just gonna cut this by eye. Just score it with a utility knife and then bend it back and forth and it'll snap. and repeat. Getting a little too dark. Ooh, feels like I'm knocking on heaven's door. I mean, it's going pretty quick. Make sure I got this roughly the same overlap here. It doesn't really matter. So, just gonna measure this. 20 inches, 20 and a half. So we're looking for like 20 and 3 sixteenths. Close enough for me. A lot of scrap left over, but I'll save it. It'll be, it'll be for other things, you know? We can do other projects. Yeah, you know those projects. Now I gotta find all those joists. That kind of sucks. I mean, that made it really easy to do that because otherwise I would have been doing it like this and it wouldn't have came out as smooth. If you could see that white, that is, that is the footprint of the interior space. That's crazy. I never talk about what I do for a living professionally and that is because I keep those two worlds completely separate. Uh, I think we all can say we have good days at work and we have bad days at work. Today was a great day. I love what I do to a certain point. There's some times where I'm just like, are you freaking kidding me at work? And I'm just like, come on. Uh, but today was one of those days that I really got to enjoy. This is hot as fuck when I'm sitting on it. It's gonna like burn my ass. One of the main reasons I make these videos is to help people and then at the same time to, to make people smile, to bring joy to people's lives. We all live a life that we might not be happy with and we're looking for change and better things in our lives. Um, and, and I hope you use these videos to escape reality for a little bit, chase a dream, help you with your dream. So many different things that I hope these videos bring to you. Now, I, without telling you what I do, 
my profession, the whole reason I got into it was to help people and to make people's shitty days better. With that job, I can't do that every day. Today was a different day for me at work. Um, I spoke with, literally, I spoke with over a thousand people today. It was literally just a 30 second to a minute long interaction. People came to me upset and I made sure when they were going away from me that they were smiling and happy and having a good time. I've really given away what I do for a living, but it doesn't matter. You can have your opinions about what I do for a living. The whole reason I do what I do for a living is to make people's lives better. Now with that said, I've been up for about 18 hours as of right now. Probably 19 by now, because I've been sitting here dicking around. I was trying to get one drink into me so I could liven back up, because I literally have been going full bore since 7 a.m. But I had fun today. I got to do what I like to do, and I didn't get cussed out once. I had great interactions, positive interactions, and it was fun. So what do you say we get back to this project? And I apologize for that rant. If you don't like these rants, I'm sorry. You don't have to watch these rants. These are my videos, and that's what I do here. So let's get back to this project, okay? Thank you for listening to that, and for not judging me. Even though 99% of you now know what I do for a living. Even though I didn't fucking say what I did for a living, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter where I work or who I work for or what I do, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that I like to help people and make people smile. So before I put all the screws into the aluminum here, I'm gonna tape all the joints. I noticed up top there, I had screwed that and then taped over it. And then you end up with these like air pockets. And since this is like roughly where it's gotta go, it's good to go, right? So I can, I can tape it. So I got the same tape that I used for my windows. Uh, original tight seal, self-adhesive, waterproofing flashing for doors and windows. It's really thick tape. I wouldn't even call it tape, but it's tape, I guess. I guess we'll call it flashing. I don't know. $9 a roll. So that raised it up to $30. Plus, if you watched the last video where I did the Joyce, after watching and editing the video, I was pretty unhappy with what I did. So I bought some more bolts and stuff, and I'm going to change that last two feet. I'm going to add another Joyce. I'm going to bring those other Joyce inside the thing. So it's not visible. So I'm gonna change that stuff at the end of the video. I'll do that. So I added, what was that? It ended up being $50. $50? I think after I was all said and done, I spent $50. So yeah. So this stuff is super sticky. It you get one shot at this. Once it touches something, it's good. It's not coming off. So be be careful. So I'm just gonna start up there and show you how to lay the stuff out nice and perky. Oh, it won't go under. Oh God, oh no, shit. Man, everything is hot. So I'm just gonna hold this where it's gotta go and then pull this paper backing off. Make sure I get a good, good seal. There's a stupid screw again. Oh, I don't have my knife on me. Delay a game. Three points. I might die of a heart attack today. That's quite possible. It's not normal to stay up this many hours. I'm also going to tape that seam that touches into the steel. Now, this one is not going to be pretty. There is no way. Not possible to get this pretty looking. Maybe there is. Let's try. Let's give it the old, the old college try see what we can do here. This is good. This is good. Pre-bend it. Work it in. Work it in, baby. Work it. Work it. Yeah, I like it. I'm just slowly pulling this up and trying to get it into that corner. Making a nice 90. Is that a 90? I think so. 
I saw some leaves fall and hit the ground today. <laughs> I was so excited. You don't even know. I really, I really got really excited. I really did. Oh yeah, baby. Blow me. The wind, the wind, the wind. I'm talking about the wind. My God. Get the freaking mind out of the gutter, you guys. All right, so now I'm gonna put in 56 screws. It was seven by eight joists. Seven screws, eight joists is seven times eight. 56, is that wrong? To be honest with you, I've had this disagreement with the sun. I mean, me and, me and the sun ain't getting along right now. I'm not a fan. I hate it, actually. But that's all right. I'm gonna get back to work. Not, not willingly. I'm gonna eyeball it. Say like right about here. We're doing good. Is the sun on fire? Yep, I believe it is. Is it hotter than you can imagine? Yep. I think it's about time to flip this thing over again. You ready for that? Shut up. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of the shut up word, but come on. That thing couldn't be any more annoying. So one of the benefits of filming my videos is that I get to see what I've done. And you guys generally don't get to see the, the progression of time in my videos because I generally wear the same thing and I kind of make sure the lighting's all right. But since I'm outside, you can't really tell. But it's a totally new day and pretty much the first 10 minutes of this video, I've already filmed and edited. So I've gotten to see the whole you know, the thing dropping and twisting and stuff. And one thing I realized is that I should have lifted and pushed the trailer. I shouldn't have pulled it over. I should have went from this angle and pulled it over. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring the tractor in this way, lift it and push it over. That would have been the smarter way to go. So I'm gonna get the tractor and uh, do that. So the first time I flipped this over, I can't remember, but I, be I believe I was like, almost 100% sober. I might have had a drink or two. This time, <laughs> yeah, right. So this time's gonna be even funnier, but I got it, I got figured it out. I've watched what I've done wrong, so even Drunk Dan can do it. If Drunk Dan, Drunk Dan can do it, then anyone can do it. I told you to shut up. Peanut, we're eating chicken tonight. Chicken's for dinner. Cocks. Oh, I love me some cock. Peanut, you are a freaking slut. <laughs> Shut up. So this type of work is called rigging. Uh, I am by no means a professional rigger, if you will, uh, but I have lifted hundreds hundreds and hundreds it's I wouldn't be surprised if it's not thousands of walls some walls that I had to calculate to make sure that the the chains or the straps that I was using were gonna support the weight like huge freaking walls you wouldn't believe some of the stuff that I've lifted with a, uh, a law forklift uh, if you've ever seen my finger in some of my videos this one right here is massively crushed by the forklift. One of many injuries that I've um, sustained, sustained, obtained, I don't know, one of those words, from a, uh, a giant forklift. Now I'm gonna give you some advice, but don't listen to the advice, because it's not good. But you want the chain, the hook, to be getting pulled towards the thing. So I don't wanna run this the other way, because it could come undone. This right here is a the, one of the best ways of hooking this up right here, uh, and I did the same thing on the other side. You always want the hook facing away from the machine that you're lifting it with. Don't listen to anything I say. Please ever, no. Don't, just don't do this. How many times are you gonna say that? Don't do this. A couple more times. You ready? I'm ready. Be nut. I want dinner. Get me dinner. Get him. 
Yeah, you just want some cock, peanut. Come on, Penny, we gotta go somewhere. Come here, bud. Come here, love. Peanut. Come on, let's go. You wanna go for a ride? I'm not going in that hot car again. God almighty, are you trying to kill me? Come here. Come on, let's go. All right, I'm putting Peanut over here safely. Safe leash. Oh, that, that puppy is out, Peanut. I don't care about that puppy, I don't like it. This is, this is dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. All right, good. Holy shit, she's rolling. It was pretty successful that time, but I, I didn't give myself enough chain to come down. You pick up what I'm throwing down? Set it on that for a second? Sh shut up. All right, we're gonna hold it there. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh man, I'm so excited. This is gonna be the stupidest thing ever. Even stupider than the beginning. So now all the weight is on these two things. R yep, bad idea, you're right. Disconnect these. Don't put your fingers in a bad spot though. I think more importantly, don't stand in a bad spot, eh? I ain't even mad. Man, that was so much more successful that time. Peanut, what do you say? Let me off this leash, you asshole. Peanut, watch out. So I am gonna tape all these joints on the inside. Why? I don't know. I feel like that's a good idea. Does it need to be done? No. Did I buy too much of this tape? Yes. Yeah. Am I going to utilize it? Yes. That's why. Makes sense to me. For you people that keep like spray foaming shit. Why? Why are we why are we spray foaming everything like that? Spray foam is horrible. It's the most flammable insulation you can put into a tiny house. Insurance company is going to be like, "What type of insulation did you use?" Uh, gasoline. Okay, no, we are not insuring you. I'm also gonna seal this this joint right here again. You have anything else to say? Nothing. You sure? You wanna you wanna jump in anytime? I mean, I'm okay with you jumping in anytime to this conversation. Nothing. You sure? <laughs> cool. I'm glad. I'm glad you got that in. You know, as long as we're having a one-way conversation or two-way conversation here and things are moving forward, that's great. So I'm going to seal all these up and then we're going to jump to those joists that I screwed up on the last video. I'll see you in a few days. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. It's my only day off this weekend. <sighs> what time is it? <laughs> it's not the morning, so you don't need to do that, okay? It is not like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. It's fucking later, okay? Shut up. It is 4.18 p.m. So that gives me straight 24 hours a week. That is what full-time job and YouTube does to you. Want to make full-time YouTube, but need to work full-time job to make YouTube happen. So 24 hours needs to happen. And delusional mental case happens, alcohol, bad decisions. I should call that girl up tonight. She's probably healed, but they're probably good now, right? That is so inappropriate. It's not even funny. So I got that all taped up and that is good to go. Uh, I just want to fix these joists. Um, 
one of the benefits of making these videos is I get to see the mistakes that I'm making and sometimes I get the opportunity to fix them. I wasn't really happy with that decision that I made to install that last joist on the outside here. So I picked up some two inch um, galvanized carriage bolts, I believe they're called, basically a round head. And I moved these to the other side, pre-drill the hole, and I'm gonna carriage bolt these in. So I'll have an exposed nut on this side. I'd rather look at that than look at that out of place um, two by four. And then what I'm gonna do is sister up another two by four to this. And I'm also gonna put another two by four in right here. Um, I'm gonna cut it on an angle. I'm gonna cut a little off the top of it so it'll sit flush here. I'm kind of bummed because that video is already up and I'm not taking it down because exporting videos takes forever. So I'm gonna get trolled a little on that one. It's all right. I'm all right with it. I'm not really. It hurts me inside. I get hurt. So I'm just tightening that down enough so that that carriage bolt is recessed in just a little bit. So you can see I finished fixing this mistake right here. I'll call it a mistake. It was kind of laziness at the time and lack of material, but that is done kind of right. This one's a little sketchy, but I got one screw coming from the steel into the wood and then one screw going from the wood into the steel. So now when I do my decking, it will have enough support right here. So if you stand there, you won't feel sponginess. And this looks a lot prettier just with two bolts on it like that. It's a lot nicer. So I'm happy with that. That's all taped up. Not the most beautiful tape job in the world, but it will work. So after getting all that extra material, the extra rolls of tape, uh, I'm going to call this project right around $150 and about maybe eight hours of work not even i mean i'm gonna say eight but it wasn't even even eight and it was it was like four days but i only work a couple hours a day because i got other stuff i gotta do but wasn't bad on time don't ask about that okay just don't ask i'm gonna fix it so in the next video i am going to insulate this and a vapor barrier uh, i definitely learned a lot about both of those things so It'll be a very informative video. Informative? I think that's a word I can use that makes sense, so I'm going to use it. Informative. That's big. Wow. You sounded all college educated. To my Patreon supporters, i got to wait a few days because i got to order the vapor barrier. So it'll be a few days till you get this. The siding. Siding's not really fun for me anymore. I'm kind of not enjoying siding. I just need to finish it. I need to power through and finish it. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You subscribers are great and what drive me to continue doing what I'm doing. Uh, if you want to support this build, please go check out my Patreon page. Uh, all the Patreon earnings go right back into this, this tiny house. So this is fully fan funded. Links in the description below. Tons of benefits by joining me on Patreon. And it's just nice to see you over there. And I love seeing you. So, please go check it out. What did I screw up on that I'm going to get trolled on? What is the trolling going to happen? The weld, the flipping, the alcohol consumption. I think I'm good. I think we'll be good. It won't be bad. Nothing I can't handle. Make sure you leave your great knowledge down below. Hit that thumbs up and I will see you on the next video. I have the insulation. The insulation's here. I just need the vapor barrier. But I'm not going to insulate it until I have the vapor barrier. And I'd like to have the plywood too. So I need to have like more things so that I can cover it and protect it because this will end up becoming a swimming pool what I've created here. We don't want swimming pool. Peanut. What? I'm trying to sleep over here. Will you leave me alone? God, you're annoying. Like this. That would be a perfect thumbnail.